everyone, welcome back to Actual English. I'm Jennifer Clyde. It's time for lesson 12, and throughout this week, we're talking about all different kinds of habits that we have.、Uh, we will be talking about eating habits today. So, what kind of eating habits do you have? Well, to be honest with you, I do not really have good eating habits or healthy eating habits because I tend to skip breakfast a lot. I'm trying really hard to have breakfast these days. But、uh, generally, I do skip lunch and I tend to have big dinners in the evening, which is not very good because you tend to gain weight in that case. And of course, it's not good for you. So, people often say that it's important to have breakfast. It is the main meal of the day, the most important meal of the day. And,、uh, well, it's good to have three meals breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But even better, It's better to have small portions, perhaps five portions of meals a day. So, what do you normally eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? And do you enjoy having late night snacks before you go to bed? We'll talk about all different kinds of eating habits today. So, if you're ready, let's begin with our first segment. It's time for actual talk. Joanna, I am so hungry. Oh, same here. Do you want to go get something to eat after this? Yeah, definitely. What should we go get? I don't know. Something healthy? Something, something healthy? I've been snacking so much these days. What, what would be a healthy option? A healthy option? Healthy I don't option. know. Bibimbap is pretty good. Oh, bibimbap. But I'm craving meat right now. Mm. So many options. They put for some meat. meat in the bibimbap. A little bit of meat in the bibimbap. I like fried egg on my bibimbap too. Yeah. Do you know a good place? Uh, not around here, but I think we <laughs>、yeah. can find one. Right.、Um, what, what, what's your eating habits?、Oh, what are I, your eating habits? I tend habits? to binge eat, which is the worst thing you can do.、Mm-hmm. Um, and because of my work schedule, I binge at around 11 o'clock at night. I've been putting on so much weight these days, my mom is not happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look very thin. Thank you. Well, I tend to forget to eat when I'm working. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm a worker. Well, if I'm focused on something, writing, you、mm-hmm. know, I'll go for hours and hours and then suddenly realize when my stomach's grumbling. Oh, the biological clock、eaten. is like, oh, I'm hungry. Yeah, and、oh, then go、no. out and. I can't function when I don't eat. Terrible food.、Yeah. <laughs> so I tend to snack during the day.、Um, I tend to eat a lot of chocolate bars to、mm-hmm. keep my energy levels up, which is not good for you people. <laughs> and yeah,、uh, I haven't had pibin bub in a while, which is, yeah. It's a good idea. We should get some.、So. Yeah. <laughs>、uh, what about、uh, breakfast? Do you eat breakfast?、Uh, they、uh, say the foundation for a healthy diet is、I、eating know, a good breakfast every I day. Know, I know the foundation is a good breakfast, but I tend to skip breakfast, which is bad. I tend to catch up on my sleep during the early morning hours.、Mm-hmm. So I miss out on breakfast.、Uh, I skip on lunch because I'm so busy, and then I eat during,、uh, for dinner. Okay. Well, let's、yeah. get you some healthy food. All right. right. Thank you.、Mm. Welcome back, everyone. Let's take you to our first segment, Actual Talk. Now, we of course had a chance to listen to Peter and Joanne talk about their eating habits. And of course, they sound like they're very, very hungry right now.、Uh, first of all, what did Joanne say? She seems to be a meat person, meaning she enjoys eating meat. I am more of a seafood person, which means I enjoy eating seafood much more than any other kind of foods. Now, she also enjoys snacking. She has been snacking a lot these days, and she's worried about putting on weight, gaining weight these days. Now, Peter, he did mention that he tends to forget about eating. Or forget to eat when he's really focused on something. So, oftentimes when he's working, concentrating on work such as writing, he forgets that he has not eaten until his stomach starts to growl or grumble. Let's take a look at what they said line by line then. All right, first of all, Peter said, Joanne, I'm so hungry. And Joanne agrees by saying, Oh, same here. Now, of course, you can't say me too. But that's kind of elementary English. It's correct, but try to say same here in place of me too. If somebody says something and if you agree, say yeah, same here, which means once again, me too. 
And yeah, so they're both hungry. And then Peter asks, "Do you want to get something or go get something to eat after this?" And they agree. She asks, "Yeah, what should we go get?" Of course, grammatically, it should be, "What should we go and get?" But usually, in just a casual conversations or in casual speaking, we often omit the "and" and just say, "Hey, what should we go get?" What should we go get? Anyhow,、uh, Peter says something healthy. Yeah, we all have to worry about our health, right? Now, Joanne says I've been snacking so much these days. Snack itself is perhaps a small, not necessarily a meal, but we often have snacks during the day. In that case, it is a noun. In this case, she has used the word snack in the verb form, which means to eat snacks. So I've been eating snacks so much these days, or I've been snacking so much these days. What would be a healthy option? Option is another word for choice. What would be a healthy choice? What would be a healthy kind of food? She asks. Now Peter says a healthy option. Hmm. Let me see. And he thinks and says bibimbap is pretty good. That's right. And they're craving bibimbap, right? Ah, bibimbap. And right, us.、Uh, Joanne says, "I'm craving meat right now." Bibimbap sounds good, but I'm craving meat right now. We'll take a look at this pattern later on. But let's take a look at the word "crave." It's C R A V E. In this case, the e was dropped and the i n g was added. Crave. To crave something means to really strongly desire something, especially when you want to eat something. When you feel like eating something so badly, you can say, "I'm craving something." Now, in this case, Joanne wants to eat meat, so she says, "I'm craving meat right now." Moving on, Peter says they put some meat in the pibimbap. That's right. There is some meat in the pibimbap, but Joanne says a little bit of meat in the pibimbap. So the focus is here, not a lot of meat, but just a little bit of meat in the pibimbap. And she says, "I like fried egg on my pibimbap." This is something you can always talk about. When you put ingredients into a certain dish, when you cook it, you can say, "I like egg." In my pibimbap, but often in pibimbap we top it with a fried egg. We put a fried egg on the top. So in that case, you can say, "I like fried eggs or egg on my pibimbap." Anyhow, Peter gets to the point. He asks, "So what are your eating habits?" Let's check it out. Joanne says, "I tend to. I tend to means I have the possibility of doing something, right?" Okay, many many times I I tend to binge eat. We'll take a look at the pronunciation of that word. Now, binge basically means to really indulge in something, go crazy about something, suddenly do something all at once. So, if you say binge eat, it means to eat lots of food all at once. A very similar expression would be to pig out. 돼지 같이 먹다. 허겁 지겁 먹다. Okay, so to binge eat is to eat crazily all at once. I tend to binge eat, which is the worst thing you can do. And she says, and because of my work schedule, I binge at around eleven o'clock at night. So in this case, we just have the word binge. Okay, you can just say I binge instead of I binge eat because. Obviously, we're talking about eating, right? So she says, "I've been putting on so much weight these days." Put on weight means to gain weight. Now, this is because she's been snacking a lot these days, and she's been binging late at night at eleven o'clock at night. Moving on, Peter says, "I tend to forget to eat." Once again, I tend to. I have, that's right, a tendency to do something, or there is a big possibility of doing something. I tend to forget to eat when I'm working, and then he says, if I'm focused on something, 
okay, such as writing, I'll go for hours and hours without eating. Now, I did add that point for you because that, of course, was not mentioned by Peter, but he says, I'll go for hours and hours and then suddenly realize when my stomach is grumbling that I haven't eaten. Now, that is one very long sentence. So let's take a look at it one more time. He says, if I am focused on something, if I'm working on something, I'll go for hours and hours, which means I will continue to do what I'm doing, okay? Forgetting something, in this case, without eating. And then suddenly realize, aha, he realizes when my stomach is grumbling. Now, grumble can be a noun and a verb. In this case, it is used as a verb. It means to make a grumbling sound. Another word is to growl. 으르렁거리다, right? Growl. But 배에서 꼬르륵 소리가 나다. In English, you would say, my stomach is grumbling or my stomach is growling. So that is what he's saying. So I forget that I have not eaten until suddenly I realize my stomach is grumbling. And then he says, uh, and then uh, Joanne says, oh, your biological clock is like, oh, I'm hungry. Now, biological in this case, let's take a look at that word. Um, biological has to do with your body, okay? Your biological clock is basically your body clock. That's another word you can use. So it's the way your body lets you know what it needs, okay? So biological clock is very, very important. Now Peter says, and then go out and eat. That's right, so he's just talking about working and working and working for hours and hours. And then if his stomach growls, he realizes, ah, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten. So he goes out to eat. Moving on. Now, uh, Joanne says, I can't function when I don't eat. Let's take a look at this. I can't function. Often machines may not function well. In this case, it means to, of course, operate, right? Machines, if they don't function well, they don't operate well. Function basically means to operate. Uh, you can't function well, meaning you can't do things properly when I don't eat. So I tend to snack during the day. Once again, it's used as a verb, okay? And then she says, I tend to, once again, eat a lot of chocolate bars to keep my energy levels up, which is not good for you. Now, Peter says, what about breakfast? Let's move on to talking about breakfast. He asks, they say the foundation for a healthy diet is eating a good breakfast. So he's asking, do you eat breakfast? Do you eat breakfast? Do you skip breakfast, for example? Now, Joanne says, I know the foundation. Foundation is the basis of something, okay? The ground, the very important key of something is a good breakfast, but I tend to skip breakfast. That's right. So if you don't eat breakfast, if you don't eat lunch, you can say I skip breakfast or I skip lunch, which is bad. I tend to catch up on my sleep during the early morning hours. So I miss out on breakfast. So let's take a look at this word as well. Miss out on something. Now, first of all, skip breakfast means you do it intentionally, with the intention, okay? You do it on purpose. You don't feel hungry, you don't have time, you can skip breakfast, forget about it, okay? Not have breakfast. But if you say miss out on something, miss out on breakfast, it means oftentimes it's not really intentional, although it could be, but you miss out on something, all right? Moving on. I skip on lunch or skip lunch because I'm so busy and then I eat dinner after work. So she's talking about her daily routines, especially when it comes to her eating habits. So what does Joanne do? She often skips breakfast, right? She takes a nap or sleeps during the early morning hours and uh, she what? She skips lunch because she's busy and she tends to eat dinner after work, which is not very good. 
Now Peter says, "Okay, let's get you some healthy food right away." And they both agree to do so. Joanne says, "All right, thank you." It sure does sound like Joanne. You should cut down on snacking and definitely at least try to have breakfast. Don't skip breakfast because breakfast is the foundation of your meal, right? Okay, let's have a listen one more time. Joanne, I am so hungry. Oh, same here. Do you want to go get something to eat after this? Yeah, definitely. What should we go get? I don't know. Something healthy. Something, something healthy. I've been snacking so much these days. What, what would be a healthy option? A healthy option? Healthy I don't option. know. Bibimbap is pretty good. Oh, bibimbap, but I'm craving meat right now. Mm -hmm. So many options. They put for some meat. meat in the bibimbap. A little bit of meat in the bibimbap. I like fried egg on my bibimbap too. Yeah. Do you know a good place? Uh, not around here, but I think <laughs> yeah. we can find one. Right. Uh, what? What? What's your eating habits? Oh, what are I, your eating I tend habits? to binge eat, which is the worst thing you can do. Mm -hmm. um, and because of my work schedule, I binge at around 11 o'clock at night. I've been putting on so much weight these days. My mom is not happy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look very thin. Thank you. Well, I tend to forget to eat when I'm working. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm a worker. Well, if I'm focused on something, writing, you mm -hmm. know, I'll go for hours and hours and then suddenly realize when my stomach's grumbling oh, that I have Oh, your biological clock is like, oh, I'm hungry. Yeah, and oh, then go no. out and... I can't function when I don't eat. Terrible food. Yeah. <laughs> so I tend to snack during the day. Um, I tend to eat a lot of chocolate bars to mm -hmm. keep my energy levels up, which is not good for you people. <laughs> and yeah, uh, I haven't had bibimbap in a while, which is, yeah. It's a good idea. We should get some. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what about uh, breakfast? Do you eat breakfast? Uh, they uh, say the foundation for a healthy diet is I eating a know, good breakfast every I day. Know, I know the foundation is a good breakfast, but I tend to skip breakfast, which is bad. I tend to catch up on my sleep during the early morning hours. Mm -hmm. So I miss out on breakfast. Uh, I skip on lunch because I'm so busy, and then I eat during, uh, for dinner. Okay. After work. Let's yeah. get you some healthy food. All right. right. Thank you. Mm. Now that we've taken another listen to today's actual talk, let's check out some words that I have selected from today's actual talk. We had the word crave, which means verb form, to hunger for. As you can see, the pronunciation is crave, crave. I'm craving for chocolate right now, okay? We have some sentences using crave in just a bit. So for now, let's uh, practice the pronunciation two more times. Crave. Crave it means to, once again, to hunger for something, to have a strong desire for something. Binge, once again. In today's actual talk, I think it was Joanne that mentioned I tend to binge eat. Binge eat. Now, binge itself, the pronunciation is binge. Binge. A synonym for it is spree. So you could binge eat, you could binge drink, you can even go binge shopping, which means to do something, to do a lot of something suddenly. All right, so binge. And another word we have for you is grumble. Peter mentioned that he would go on for hours and hours working on something and maybe realize when his stomach starts to grumble that he has not eaten. The pronunciation is Grumble, grumble. The stress goes on the first syllable. One more time, grumble. And a synonym would be to complain. In this case, it means to growl, make a sound. So think of it as your stomach complaining. Give me food, give me food, okay? All right, let's move on to a pattern you can make use of. Remember, we've seen a lot of this in today's actual talk. I tend to. I tend to. For example, I tend to forget to eat. This means to have a tendency to do something. There is a high possibility of doing something. I tend to forget to eat. If you forget to eat very often, you can say, I tend to forget to eat. Okay, I tend to overeat. I tend to overeat. It means what? Eat too much. Yeah, break it apart if you don't know what it means. Over. It means to do too much of something, so you're doing too much of eating. It means to overeat. Okay, I tend to overeat. One more time, I tend to overeat. 
Okay, let's take a look at uh, one more. I tend to skip breakfast. This is what I tend to do. I'm trying not to, but if you often skip breakfast, you can say, I tend to skip breakfast. I tend to skip breakfast. Moving on to some more patterns. Now, because of something, I binge at a certain time, right? So you can say, because of my work schedule, because of my busy work schedule, I binge at 11 at night, okay? Because of something, I binge at 11 at night. One more. Because of my study schedule. So if you are a student, you can say, because of my study schedule, I binge eat at one in the morning, okay? So keep in mind, you can either say binge or binge eat in this case. If you are talking about eating, you don't necessarily have to mention eat, okay? Binge, binge. All right, moving on to one more pattern. Go for hours and hours. This is what Peter said, right? He said that when he concentrates on something such as work or on writing, he would go for hours and hours. It means to continue for many, many hours. Here is a sample sentence to help you understand. Here we go. I usually go for hours and hours without eating, okay? And then you can say when I'm studying or when I'm working. So, if you tend to forget to eat because you're so busy doing something for many, many hours, you can say, I usually go for hours and hours doing something. All right, everyone, keep these patterns, expressions, and vocabulary in mind, and let's move on. I would say that I am a healthy eater. I like to eat lots of fruits and vegetables. I also like to eat meat. Um, I am doing this new thing right now where I'm juicing my dinners. Basically, I'm substituting my dinner meal for a, a juice that has vegetables and fruits. And this is really for health reasons. Um, I'm trying to get as much micronutrients as I can. Um, and that is basically from the raw source of fruits and vegetables. But I do have a sweet tooth. Um, I love to pig out on fried chicken and ice cream and uh, cake. I really do love those sweet foods or the fried foods that are so unhealthy for you. But overall, I would say I am, very, I am a healthy eater. Um, I also like to try lots of variety of foods from uh, Thai food to Indian food. I love Korean food and uh, I, love, I love eating in general. But overall, I would say I am a healthy eater. I have a very healthy diet. I always eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner as well. Breakfast is really important for me. In today's actual story, Rachel has mentioned many, many important things. Well, she did begin by saying that she thinks of herself as a healthy eater, so she's got good eating habits. Uh, she did mention a few things that got me guessing and thinking, really, you're a healthy eater? She did, uh, did mention that she does have a sweet tooth, which means she really likes sweets such as candies and chocolate. What else? She loves fried foods, which is unhealthy for you. She loves Thai food, Indian food, Korean food. She loves to eat in general, but she did mention that she's, that's right, a person that never skips breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So she thinks that breakfast is very, very important and tries very hard not to skip any of the three meals. All right, let's take a look. Uh, the first one we've chosen for you is, I'm substituting my dinner meal. Now she mentioned something about juicing her dinner, right? You may have wondered, what does juicing my dinner mean? Juice, of course, it is a noun form, but if you use it as a verb form, you are making something into a juice. And then she adds, I'm substituting. Substitute basically means to put something in place of another. So, I'm substituting my dinner meal for a juice, which means instead of having 
dinner meals, she has juice instead. Okay, so that is what she is substituting her dinner meals for health reasons. Hmm. So what does that mean for health reasons? You can make use of this if you do something because of your health or to keep healthy. You can say I do A B C for health reasons. Okay. This is because you want to become healthier. Let's take a look at one more. She says, "I'm trying to get as much micronutrients as I can, okay, from the raw source of fruits and vegetables." So the word here is micronutrients. They're very, very important minerals and vitamins that our body needs in order to be healthy. So she says, "I'm trying to get as much." Micronutrients. Moving on. I love to pig out here. That's another word for binge. We learned a new word today. I love to pig out on fried chicken and ice cream and cake. Now the word here is to pig out on something. It means to eat crazily. Just go crazy eating something. And、uh, here's one more. A great way to finish your talk or your interview or story. Overall, in general. But together, I would say I am a healthy eater. So everyone out there, are you a healthy eater? Think about that, and that is a wrap. I would say that I am a healthy eater. I like to eat lots of fruits and vegetables. I also like to eat meat.、Um, I. I'm doing this new thing right now where I'm juicing my dinners. Basically, I'm substituting my dinner meal for a, a juice that has vegetables and fruits, and this is really for health reasons.、Um, I'm trying to get as much micronutrients as I can,、um, and that is basically from. The raw source of fruits and vegetables, but I do have a sweet tooth.、Um, I love to pig out on fried chicken and ice cream and、uh, cake. I really do love those sweet foods or the fried foods that are so unhealthy for you. But overall, I would say I am very, I am a healthy eater.、Um, I also like to try lots of variety of foods, from、uh, Thai food to Indian food. I love Korean food, and、uh, I love I love eating in general. But overall, I would say I am a healthy eater. I have a very healthy diet. I always eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner as well. Breakfast is really important for me. Well, I hope that you have learned a lot of new words and expressions, and I hope that you can practice the patterns we learned today and make use of them in the future. As we're talking about eating today, I have not eaten、uh, today, so my stomach is grumbling right now. It's growling. I think I need to go grab something to eat. Okay, next time I'll be joining you back with another habit. We'll be talking about childhood habits, habits you've had since you were little, or perhaps habits you no longer have. Habits you used to have as a child. In the meantime, come to our homepage at www.ebse.co.kr. Look for our scripts, make use of them, and come on、uh, by to say hello as well. All right, that's a wrap for today. I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.